So it has officially been 1,567 days that South Africans and Africans as a total have been struggling with ping. As you guys do know, Fortnite was released a long time ago and ever since there's never been any server relating to Africa or South Africa or whatever the case is. In today's video, we're basically going to be going over Fortnite African servers, all of that kind of stuff. I'm going to be speaking about my opinions, any updates on it, what I think about it, and if there's potential for it in the future. If you guys haven't already, please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and all of that good stuff. And use code Racky in the item shop. It's literally the easiest way to support me, and it helps me a ton. Before we get into this video, I actually have something very interesting and exciting for you guys, and you guys are really going to hear this. Wait a minute. When are going to hear this? When are going to hear this? When 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 are going to hear? Okay, so this video today is sponsored. So as you guys do know, Black Friday is coming up and the specials are going to be crazy on peripherals, PC parts, and all of that kind of stuff from Evac Tech. Evac Tech is one of the most reliable places to buy anything related to your PC, gaming, anything in that whole genre. It is probably one of the best places to buy in South Africa. They're having crazy Black Friday specials and I highly recommend you look into it. Uh, I'll leave some photos on the screen now of some specials that they have, but yeah, it's going to be absolutely crazy. You can find their web website in the link in my bio will probably be the top link of the description and you guys can browse around look for some really good specials on some deals whatever you're looking for they could potentially have it but without further ado let's get back into the video so how we're going to work on this video is i'm basically going to give you my thoughts on south african servers and all of that kind of stuff at the end of the video there's going to be a potential like a big in like discovery i guess into going into south african servers or whatever the case is so make sure to watch all the way through to the end because i've got some juicy information right at the end of the video so the lowest ping that as you guys do know that we can get is from south africa is 90 ping and creative to middle east which is really high and i feel like the game being out for 1567 days and they still haven't found something relating to us getting lower ping to be able to compete or anything along the lines is quite absurd in my opinion i'm very on the fence if we should get servers or deserve servers and maybe we shouldn't. I'm going to start off why we, I do think we deserve servers. So with South Africa and the African continent as a whole, I think the community is absolutely huge. Contrast to people's belief, I really do think that the South African region or anywhere in the whole of Africa is a lot bigger and the whole community is a lot bigger than a lot of people think. Every day you find out new people on TikTok, all of these kind of social media platforms saying, am I the best South African player? Whatever the case is, but there's also other things going into it. There's a Kenyan community, which is quite big. There's a Nigerian community, which is really big of their own players, which consists of their own tournaments and stuff like that. There's even a Mauritian community where there's a lot of different players competing that I've never seen before in my whole entire life. There's a lot of potential with it. And I do feel like we would have more players in a region like OCE, Middle East and maybe even some more. Africa is a really big continent which is very densely populated and I genuinely do feel like we have a lot of players that would compete in these tournaments. The other side that I'm kind of saying why we don't deserve servers is due to the fact that firstly AWS is not used on Twitch, whatever the case is of course AWS or Amazon hosts the Fortnite servers and we, I'm pretty sure we are capable of hosting servers, it's just the biggest thing is firstly they're not in use for like Twitch or stuff like that, I'm not too sure why and then another thing that I personally feel like is if Epic's going to invest so much time into something like servers so much time money and stuff like that they're of course going to do their research about the country the infrastructure and all of that kind of stuff as you do know we do have a lovely thing in our country called load shedding which happens quite often and all of that kind of stuff and we do know that this has happened since 2008 which really is crazy to me i personally don't think it's anything due to the uh, the server itself aws or the player base i genuinely feel it's an infrastructure in our country that kind of brings us down i feel like if the country had to get on its feet again with uh, having good infrastructure good leadership and government getting a better maybe potential economy or whatever the case is that kind of stuff would help us a lot with getting servers i mean what happens if we get load shedding during FNCS grants? You know what I'm trying to say? You have to make plans to go to different places. Whatever the case is, you know what I'm trying to say? So I feel like infrastructure plays a big role in these kind of projects that Epic has to go into. Okay, moving on to the spicy information now, and then I'm gonna say, do I think we'll ever get servers afterwards? I guess a very interesting information that we got around about a month ago from a Twitter username Detty O or Detty Zero. Basically is very clued up when it comes to uh, setups and all of this kind of stuff relating to computers and servers, all of that kind of stuff, he's really knowledgeable about that kind of stuff. As you can see on your screen now, there's a Twitter post of Deti tweeting out African players could possibly... 
that his English is absolutely horrible. African players could possibly soon get better ping. As you can see from the map, they are making upgrades to the infrastructure of the cables, which basically will help us get lower ping to uh, EU and connects to Spain or whatever the case is, and it's better cables or whatever the case is. The estimated ping will probably be around about 80 in game and maybe 60 in creative, but this is a little bit far fetched and it might. It, it, there is a, a high potential of it, but there's also a high potential that it doesn't happen. But hopefully, fingers crossed that we do get it. Now, closing off the video, do I think we'll ever get servers? So this is a very. It's an iffy situation, and like I said, I think the community is big enough. I think the community is good enough to do it, but the only issue is our infrastructure, and that is the biggest issue that is holding us back. Thank you guys so much for popping into the video. I really do appreciate it. and. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and I love you guys so much. Peace.